welcome you all today we are here with another topic and this time it is rhythm this is our lecture 18 we already have conducted 17 lectures in this our lecture series program from the subject phonetics and english phonology english code 203 so without further go let's get started our today's topic the rhythm refers to the pattern of stressed and de-stressed syllables and words so Rhythm is actually the pattern of stressed and de-stressed syllables and words. Our hair is another way to express. Speaking with rhythm, musicality is essential for making your message clear to the listener. So for the music or poetry, we also use rhythm. Or whenever you are making your simple conversation, rhythm help you to convey your meaning according what you want for instance it's not the best idea so we are putting a stress on certain words like we are putting stress on not and de-stressing the other words it's it's not so de-stressing and stressing pattern in this line is known as rhythm it's not the best idea so this is stressed and de-stressed uh, pattern in this line of sentence is known as rhythm. Here is another example. I want my brother to win. So putting a stress and de-stressing the other words, this pattern is known as rhythm. Here is another way to express rhythm. Rhythm refers to the pattern of stressed and unstressed syllables in his speech or writing. So the pattern of stressed and unstressed syllables. It is a crucial element of prosody which encompasses the rhythmic, melodic and international aspects of language. So for the music or poetry, this rhythm is very essential. For instance, here is iambic pentameter in poetry. So if you want to learn what is iambic pentameter, there is another lecture uh, in my lecture series program. You may watch it. What is iambic pentameter in simple? It consists of lines with five pairs of syllables. So five pairs of syllables, uh, which are stressed and de-stressed uh, in pattern is known as iambic pentameter. For instance, in the poem, Shakespeare's Sonnet 18, there is line. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? So this line is actually divided into five pairs of syllables. So this five pairs of syllables is known as rhythm. Here even I would like to make more uh, explanations uh, about rhythm. As the definition for the rhythm refers to the pattern of stressed and uh, unstressed syllables in speech or writing, for instance, from the poem Humpty Dumpty. So in this poem Humpty Dumpty, there's line Humpty Dumpty is pattern of all. So this line is actually uh, is stressed, hum, dum, set, wall. These words are actually stressed and the other words are unstressed in this line as Hum T. So we are de stressing T and stressing the part of uh, this word, our syllable, and that is hum, hum T, dum T, set on a wall. So we are de stressing the words on a and stressing wall. So this actually creates a kind of beat in poem. So rhythm is very essential in music or whenever we are reading a poetry. This helps us um, to make our message clear and to make musicality in the sound, our speech. Here are more words, those students who are learning or who want to write in their examinations. It involves the organization of sounds into regular patterns, creating a sense of musicality and flow. This rhythmic patterning helps to convey meaning it emphasizes and enhance the overall expressiveness of the speech. So rhythm actually helps us 
to make our music uh, more effective and make the flow in the music and whatever we want to clear we uh, use rhythm uh, in our words or whenever we are expressing something it helps us to convey the right message the study of rhythm in linguistics involves examining factors such as the syllable duration stress patterns and syllable prominence it also explores how rhythm interacts with other linguistic features such as intonation and sentence structure to shape the overall parasodic structure of his speech rhythm plays a crucial role in his speech perception language acquisition and overall communicative effectiveness of his spoken language so rhythm is actually all about the uh, effective communication in his spoken or even in writing the rhythm has in poetry rhythm has to convey your right meanings thanks for attention thank you very much this would have been uh, very helping for all of you thank you